My name is Ho Jun Song from South Korea. I'm an uh, artist and lives in Seoul right now. I use lots of technologies, but uh, not as a expressive medium, but more of like a narrative uh, way. So uh, one of my projects, Launching a Satellite, as an individual, uh, this is why I'm here actually today. It is also about to talk about uh, what is going to happen when an individual launches a satellite where uh, it was used to be launched by government or the institution. And then uh, is this possible to launch a satellite with the knowledge from the internet? And also, can we make uh, bring up an issue on, let's say, um, art and science? Or, and along with the politics uh, uh, by launching a satellite. That was the, uh, actually um, the essence of my project. But then after I launched the satellite, uh, people uh, made me some sort of like a symbol of hopes and dreams back in Korea. So I spent most of my time ever since launching the satellite to kind of refuse uh, and disrespect the notion of uh, uh, hopes and dreams, and, and my other work is including uh, includes like uh, radiation jewelry. It's for the uh, people who wants to commit suicide so that they can uh, taste the death. It's made out of a real uh, uh, uranium uh, ore, uh, and you can put it on. And while you're wearing the necklace, you can also think about death that if you want to change your mind, then you can, you know, just cut the wire and live your life. Uh, but the reason why I am uh, making those kind of things is it's really hard to t uh, taste the death while we are actually living our lives. So I just wanted to, you know, make something that we can taste the death. And recently I am also doing a uh, Don't Compress Me project, which is uh, you have to move against the video algorithm so that you don't get compressed a lot. So it's just like a preservation of your being and existence against the, uh, the technology. So uh, I uh, videotape 10 seconds for the people and then they have to move really like uh, in a in a in fast and a random uncontinuous way, so the computer cannot predict uh, our movement. But still, uh, the camera is really fast, so we have to uh, do our best. But it's really hard. So whenever I tape people, it looks so weird. But then they are doing really hard to preserve their beings. And the other project of mine is uh, God Led Electronics. It's a God shaped LED uh, electronic component. Uh, but I am uh, going to mass produce the uh, electronic component in the shape of God. For example, Buddha, Jesus, Saint Mary, um, Ganesh from India. So, for example, if you know they want to make a cross out of a uh, LED. And like, uh, then they sh could use the Buddha, Buddha LED. And um, it's, just, it's not just an art project, but I'm just going to sell it through the uh, distributors like uh, DigiKeys or Mausers or global distributors. So I think then we can also have an assorted pack of uh, different gods, uh, different colors, different models, and etc. So that's basically what I'm doing. I, I can't explain uh, where all my ideas comes from it's just like uh, we cannot explain the, how you know artificial intelligence make decisions so I do not know but I my concern is I don't believe in religion I don't uh, I'm a I also don't believe any genius or prodigy so I really like to kind of um, lower down those heroes in many ways like that's why I'm, you know, launching my satellite in an open source way, because if we can bring it down those geniuses into like a normal uh, level, that means everyone can have their own ideas. There's, I believe, there's no particular good idea uh, out there. 
it's just you know everyone has uh it's i mean they have their own idea but it's just not become part of like the big success or anything like that so in order to see many different perspective uh respect uh, perspective our lives or like nature so we got to have a uh, ideas from all different kinds of groups but hero is always you know preventing uh, those ideas coming up or mixed together so that's like my foremost concern so that's why i'm making like gas shaped leds to kind of you know talk about how religious religion is affecting our life and also open source project and always trying to think about life and death so i'm really these days into like artificial intelligence so there will be a project of mine that has to do with the artificial intelligence soon because i i think artificial intelligence just you know lower down those you know holy human beings into normal level uh, of a uh, you know if you have a lot of experience then you can be a good let's say artist kind of way so yes I try to plan a lot, but I failed all the time. Like there are many, many things that I try to plan for the satellite project, but it's just all failed. So that then I was able to discover something very weird. Those failures, those unintended, you know, the kind of like intended like 30%, but then I got like unintended result like from 70%. Then I was able to go through all these kind of weird uh, Paths, paths that I have never thought about. So I'm, I'm a firm believer of a failure and a randomness. Uh, but I'm doing my best to, to I don't know, plan something. But it, it's mixed. So I'm, I'm starting to just uh, uh, accepting all these things right now. I really want to talk about uh, launching a satellite uh, project as an art project first. And then uh, second, I want to talk about it uh, from a um, logistic, how can I say, administrative uh, perspective. I mean, is it really possible to launch a satellite? I mean, if you want to launch a satellite, I mean, there are steps that you need to go through. So I also want to talk about it. And I also want to talk about some of the uh, uh, actions that I did to refuse to become a symbol of a hopes and dreams, which might be totally against the marketing strategy because I really hate, what I ha you know, I was, some director in Korea made a documentary about my project, but I really hate the way they uh, promote my project. Because they keep telling about, you can do it, uh, the hopes and dreams and will be fulfilled, and et cetera. But that typical, uh, stereotypical uh, hopes and dreams marketing strategy, I think it's not a good thing to me. And also to other people, because it's just the making heroes, which will just prevent all the ideas. Or I mean, the hero suppresses all the good ideas all the time. Because he and she has a direction. So I don't like that. So I'm going to talk about that maybe from a marketing uh, strategy point of view. Hopefully, yes. What do you hope that uh, the attendees or the audience uh, get out of your talk? Like, what do you think they should come away with? Um, my project was not intended. Uh, I mean, my project is not about like, uh, let's say, progression or the betterment of a humankind. I want people and me to think about what is, you know, progression and development and efficiency. But so I would love for the audience to think about this from my uh, presentation because um, when I meet a lot of people from like dinners yesterday and then people are so excited about the futures coming and all these kind of things, but I want uh, um, audience to think about it in, uh, from a different perspective, not like the efficient way.